that's why Christ is going to come back and he's going to set everything straight. And he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. And that's why... And Pardon me? You're a clown and everybody's laughing. You call me a clown, but you think you're a woman. You, but you think you're a woman, though. Like that, that's the pot. That's the pot calling the kettle black right there. Um, you, you. Every day you wake up, you play, you play dress up and masquerade. And I, I'm the clown. I'm, I'm in touch with reality. You think that you're a woman. You are confused. This is, this is confusion. You need to repent. Put on some pants. And go watch a football game or something. Grow your beard out and get back to being a man. Because when you stand before God, He's going to judge you as a man. He's not going to judge you as however you identify. He's going to judge you by how you were created. You, you need to re. We have no gender. In you just said you're a woman. We have no gender in heaven. You can't say we yet. When you accept Christ, you can say we. We means everybody. You're not going to make it to heaven like this, though. You're not going to make it to heaven. No transgender. We, no, you're not. I'm in the land. There, there are no, there are no unrepented transgenders in the Lamb's Book of Life. How would I know that? If I was a Christian, how would I know that? Because I mean, part you probably read it. So did you read the part where he says repent? And a, a man should not wear, uh, a man should not wear, a uh, man should not wear clothes pertaining to a woman, and a woman should not wear clothes pertaining to a man. Uh, what about when Jesus says male and female? He created them. Male and female. He created them. Look. Look, look, homie, look, homie. If you just repent, if I don't, what, what's your name? What's your name? I'm not calling. Look, 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 Desiree, Desiree. If you want to get right with God, all you got to do is turn your back on your transgender lifestyle, and He'll forgive you. He'll forgive you. God will forgive you. You don't, you don't love yourself. You hate yourself. You hate you, you hate yourself. You hate yourself because 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 you have a, a, a you have a you have a you have a cognitive dissonance. You're being a fascist. Your, your inside doesn't match the outside, and the outside doesn't match the inside. So you have turmoil going on. I'm here to say today, Desiree, that you can put your trust in Jesus. You can put your trust in Jesus. I'll set you free. I'll set you free. And it, and it I'm sorry. I know this meme, bro. I like. I don't know why she came in. The, bro, her teeth just get the mess out of me, bro. I, I really just got. I, I, I know my teeth ain't perfect. But when she just came in the screen, bro, I just jumped. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I just got the shiver, bro. I'm not even trying to make a joke right now. I'm like, Ben, dead serious. That judge just get the mess out of me. Don't you never come in the camera just mouth wide open like that. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you was thinking when you came in that camera. But <laughs> don't you never come in the camera like that again. Mouth just wide open. TV's just throwing up all type of gang signs, man. I got scared for a minute. I ain't BD or Crip or Blood. I'm sorry. He'll put you back. He'll put you back. He'll, he'll make your mind back and you'll be a man again. You'll be a man again. You can be a man again. No, that's not your, this is not your true self. This is not your true self. You are you are who God says you are. And God says you're a man. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Why would God put the idea in a transgender person's head? To be trans. Satan put that idea in your head. No, it's devil. Right. You guys are of Satan. No, the Bible, you guys are of the devil. You, 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 um, just, just, huh? where, where Satan All come? evil comes from Satan. And, and this is it's evil. evil. Being, being, a evil. evil. Being, a being a lesbian is evil. Being a lesbian is evil. Where does the Satan eat? Where does the Satan eat? Where does the Satan eat? Right now, that's evil. Anger is evil. Chill out, Joe. Chill out, Joe. Chill out, Joe. Huh? In the Bible, it says, it says what anger, what anger worketh not the righteousness when of God. When God flipped the table, was the evil? When Jesus flipped the table? No, that's called anger. righteous anger. You know why yeah. he flipped the table? Because, anger. Anger. because anger. people were wicked like you. Anger. God got sure. angry sure. at your sin. Sure. Just like, just like now. Sure. And so, so sure. I'm, I'm going to tell you today that Satan oh put God. these thoughts in your head. You are of your father, the devil. And the only way to be set free is to put your trust in Jesus Christ. Right now you're in darkness. Right now you're in darkness. Right now you're in darkness. Now in darkness. And, you, and the Bible says that he can take you from darkness into light. Where is the Bible? Just tell me what verse exactly does it say? Does it say being gay is the sin? First Corinthians six nine. And Romans one twenty six. And Romans one twenty six. Get in the Bible. 
It says it calls it unrighteousness. Yeah. It calls it wicked. Happy. It says unnatural. Okay, and it says that these people will not Man, inherit the kingdom of heaven. Question, I have a question. Yes, Do you speak Jesus Hebrew? Hebrew? Do you speak Hebrew? Who is the no. apostle? Jesus you loves the no. Then how can you tell me that you are Christian if Jesus spoke Hebrew and the Bible was written in Hebrew? The New Testament was written in Greek. If Jesus spoke Hebrew and the Bible was written in Hebrew. Okay, uh, we will get back to that, but they said that it's not in the Bible. Well, right here, 1 Corinthians 6 9, as you see, I already got it highlighted because this is one of the scriptures that I first read when I first came to Christ that it was very um, offensive to me because I was living in some of the things that this scripture stated. But now that I'm free and I'm a new creation in Christ, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like that no more, as Paul will continue to say in the scripture. But it say right here, don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin, that was me, or who worship idols, I did, or commit adultery, yeah, or male prostitutes, or practice homosexuality, I did, um, or are thieves, I was a thief, or greedy people, I was greedy, or drunkards, or abusive, or cheap people, none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that, but you are, you were worked up, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. You were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of our God. That's first Corinthians six, nine. So yes, uh, Joe or whatever your name is, or he, they, Shingy, I don't know. I don't know no more. I don't know what you people want to be called. Uh, but yeah, it does say that in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get all my thoughts at the end, but I just want to, uh, you know, that's why I got the, I got the Holy book right next to me. They can't, you know what I'm saying? Cause they be trying to, they be trying to ask them to the Bible. That's not in there. But come on, man. It, it's in there, bro. It's in there. Even in, uh, I think it was Deuteronomy also. Don't mark my word on that. Even Deuteronomy. Oh no, no. I think it was in Leviticus. It state Leviticus or Deuteronomy. One of those. I'll put it on the screen. Okay. But it does state that homosexuality is an abomination to God. Okay. So I'm just going to put that out there also. But anyways, let's finish. Greek. Now ask me, do I study okay. Greek? Do you study Greek? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now, would you like, now that we, we got that the way, I don't study Hebrew, but I do study Greek. John, how and, you and, and first you Corinthians says, what, let me ask you a question. I'm back. I'm back. Who taught you that, that, that being gay wasn't a sin? No, no, the Bible. Okay, so show me chapter and verse that says that being gay is okay. It says man cannot sleep with boys. In Corinthians, it says man cannot sleep with boys. Boys is a word for child. That is pedophilia. No, actually, it says this. It says, a man should not lie with a man as he lies with a woman. Amen. As he lies with a woman. So it's not about, and, and then the word, the, the Hebrew word male, is, is, is the same word that he uses twice. It doesn't, the, the word boy, the Hebrew word for boy and Hebrew word for male are two different words. And if you read that passage, it's the same word describing both things. And also, and also, listen, listen to this. This is what 1 Corinthians 6, this is Jesus, what Jesus says. Do, not, do you not know that unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, okay, nor discovers, let me ask you a question. Um, will let inherit the kingdom of heaven. Yes. So God says that these type of people will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. When was the word, when was the word homosexual created? No, no clue. By, by Paul in a... Leviticus 18... 22 do not practice homosexuality having sex with another man as with a woman it is a detestable sin all right i'm just i'm, I'm just pointing out scriptures here okay i'm just pointing out scriptures okay i'm just, that's all i'm doing this is just the bible app i'm just pointing out scriptures okay that's i'm, I'm just saying apostle no no clue. by by paul an apostle not jesus jesus did not know the word homosexual Created it. You're right, but but you know what it says right here? You know what Jesus you know what the word Jesus did know? This word I just said, nor sodomites. What's a sodomite? Amen. Amen. Sir, Amen. A sodomite is the same thing. A sodomite is a stronger word for homosexual. Amen. So in the Old Testament, they were actually called sodomites. Amen. So so now because we because now we have nuances. No, sodomites is someone who yeah, sodomizes. Okay. Well you're so, correct. The word okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, walk okay. away. Yeah. The word sodomite, just like first. sodomite is someone Jesus who has sex I'm with someone in their anus. Amen. That's what the word sodomite means. Yeah. So, I have sex with someone so, in their anus. So, so, and so also, a yes, no, being a lesbian is the same. Okay, Roman, Roman says this. Jesus. Roman says a woman. Jesus, well, Roman, you need to repent. Oh, angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. Angry lesbian. There's an angry lesbian. Calm down, Joe. Calm down, Joe. Wait, 
Calm down, bro. You need to repent, bro. You need to repent. You're wrong. You, you know what? You know why you're getting mad? Because you know that you're full of sin and you need to repent and you're evil. You're evil. That's why. That's why Joe. Gets, that's why Joe got mad. Joe got mad because you know your lifestyle is an abomination. Your lifestyle is an abomination, Joe. And that's why you got upset. Your lifestyle is an abomination. Your your lifestyle is an abomination to God. That's why Joe got so upset because. Um, Joe wanted God to validate its lifestyle, but God doesn't validate sin. God says repent of your sin. You thought I was too powerful. All right. Um, first off, I want to say shout out to I, bro. I seriously forgot his name. Um, shout out to him though, because what everything he said is honest truth, and the thing with everything that he did say people don't like to hear the truth people don't like to hear the word of god because the word of god is offensive to those who are continuing to live in their sin the problem with sin is that sometimes we love our sin more than we love god you know what i'm saying we want god to be okay with our sin he, like the guy was saying i love i love myself i love no the devil is telling you that this is who you are coming from a person who was in this lifestyle who was in that lifestyle i was I was in homosexuality. I was in that lifestyle. So coming out of that lifestyle, I remember telling myself over and over again that I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. But no, no, no. That was just the enemy trying to get my mind to really believe that I was this way when I really wasn't. God didn't create me this way. He created me with a greater purpose. He created me with something greater than what I was considering myself to be. I was basically, I was basically telling God that I am not enough. I am not who he created me to be. In reality, I'm telling God that, look, God, you made me the wrong way. I, I'm supposed to have been this way, not this way that you created me to be. I'm supposed to have been this way. So you're a liar. You don't know how to create people. You create them the wrong way. It's like, come on, bro. God don't make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? God don't make mistakes. And in all honesty, with the LGBT community, I'm, I don't know their story. I don't know everybody's story, okay? But when I, what, one thing I do know is that no one is born that way. OK, because then if somebody was born in the LGBT Q, if somebody was born that way, that would mean God is a liar to his own word. I truly believe and this is not just because it happened to me, but it bro, it only makes logical sense. The devil attacks when they are young, when they have no knowledge. So he attacks your children because they have no knowledge of what's really going on. So I truly believe that something happened growing up as a child. And maybe you don't remember, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you was touched at a young age at one or two, or maybe things were said around you that you just don't remember that caused you to become this way. The devil always attack at a younger age because you're not knowledgeable of the things around you. So he attacks when you're young. So when you get older, now you stuck in this mindset of that. I am this way. This is who I am. You not, you not what the devil tells you that you are. You're not that. Like he said, you need to come up out of your sin and become a new creation in Christ. You, the thing with LGBT is that they're all searching for something. They're all searching with they all searching for peace, happiness. They search, and they can say all day long, I'm happy. I'm happy to be who I am. I'm this. You don't even know why you the way you are. You find yourself attracted. You, you believe that like in your deep down in your heart, you believe I am attracted to this person. I like these people. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what your childhood trauma, what your childhood trauma was like. Because maybe you don't remember what happened in your childhood that caused you to think this way. You see what I'm saying? I was touched at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Now, thankful, thankfully, I remember everything that happened. So I know that I was touched by this person. I know that this happened to me. So I know that I am not this way. It was the devil. It was the enemy trying to attack me. You know what I'm saying? Every family has a generational curse. And the devil wants that curse to continue to spread out throughout your entire family. It all started with my cousin brother, who was originally gay, who touched my cousin which made my cousin question his sexuality who decided to touch me. And so it was like a, it was like a cycle. It was literally a cycle. That's what it was. But not saying that my story is like everybody else, but all I'm saying is that you are not who you think you are. You are not that. I promise you, you're not, you're greater than that. You just got to be willing to come up out of your sin. You can't be too comfortable in your sin. The moment you're too comfortable in your sin, the devil already got you in a chokehold. That's why when the word is being preached to you, you automatically get angry. You automatically get frustrated. 
because somebody's speaking against your lifestyle. You got so mad because you know your lifestyle is abomination. When he said sodomite, you didn't know what it was, and he cut you down right there. He broke you down at that given moment. And that's what built up anger inside you because it's demons inside you. It's demons trying to control you. That's why you need to come up out of that lifestyle. <laughs> and come up out of that lifestyle, bruh. I'm telling y'all, man, it's the word of God. As many, as much as people may not believe in this, bro, I promise this is the only way. It's the only way, bro. It's the truth. It's the only thing that makes sense, okay? Like, literally. But people, they take what other people say and they run with it. They don't do the research for themselves. They don't know how many prophecies are in the Holy Bible and how many of those prophecies actually been fulfilled this far. It's, it, bro, if I'm not mistaken, because I actually got it written down. It's two thousand. If I'm not mistaken, it's two thousand five hundred prophecies, and it was two. I believe out of those two thousand five hundred, two thousand those prophecies has been fulfilled. And that's and like I said, I have it written down, which I actually could just look it up or just look at it somewhere in my notes because I write down a lot of stuff. But I'm saying all this because I want people to understand that it's more than just oh I'm gonna just read the word. The words say this and the words say that. No, 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 no. It's more than just reading the word, bro. It's about doing your research and understanding the history behind the Bible, bro. You got to know what you're following, bro. You seriously got to know what you're following. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find that um that one thing that I said, but if I can't find it, I'll put it on the screen if I mess up or not. But yeah, 2500 prophecies and out of those 2500 prophecies, 2000 of those prophecies been fulfilled. What prophecies in a uh, in a in, in the Holy Quran been fulfilled? Is there even any prophecies in the Holy Quran? You know what I'm saying? What prophecies in the Buddha book, whatever, Catholics and all these different religions, bro. Religion is a man-made uh, a man-made thing, bro. People just need to follow and put your eyes on Jesus Christ. That's what people need to truly do. Once you put your eyes on Jesus Christ, bro, it's a level of peace that lies inside you that you can't explain to another person because the Bible tells us that the peace that God gives us is a peace that uh that it 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 overrides all understanding. No one can understand that type of peace. That's why it's hard for me to express the joy and the peace that I feel inside me each and every day. It's hard for me to express that because I, it, it, it sees my understanding. I don't know how it, I don't know how to explain it to somebody. I know how it feels. I just don't know how to explain it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. A uh, shout out to that guy once again. I, I keep I, I know his name, bro. It's killing me right now because I'm trying to think of his name. Anyways, subscribe to my channel, man. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.